In this video, I'd like to talk to you about five reasons for not moving to Southeast Florida. The videos on my channel are for viewers who are thinking about moving to Southeast Florida, so you want to stick around in this video because we will tell you all about the life in Southeast Florida. If you are new to this channel and like to know everything there is about living in Southeast Florida, the good, the bad and everything in between, then please sus subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you could be the first to learn about the current market in Southeast Florida. My name is Lars Demis and I get calls from people just like you looking to move to and from South Florida and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of moving to or from South Florida in the next 10 days or 10, 10 months, be sure to give us a call, send us a text or shoot us an email and we will be happy to help you make a smooth move in South Florida. So five negatives you will come across after you move to Southeast Florida. I don't want you to get I don't want you to regret your move to Florida, so let's get right into it. There can be a huge lifestyle and culture shock when you move here, and I like you to be prepared. First is high population, especially in the winter months when a lot of snowbirds are coming from up north from places like New York, New Jersey, Canada, and so on. These people are moving here obviously because of the weather, what brings me to my second point. Hurricane season in Florida is from June 1st to November 30 every year. You will get enough notice if a hurricane is approaching, but please be aware that there can be some shortages in gas and groceries in the days before. I personally prepare every summer and I have some gas, extra water and canned food at home just to make sure. Summer storms and hurricanes bring me to my next point, which is high home and homeowners insurance rates. You will be surprised how high homeowner insurance rates can get here in South Florida. You need to make sure that when you found a house or a property that you are interested in purchasing to get an insurance quote right away. So you can factor this in to your monthly payments. My fourth reason for not moving here is high traffic, high car insurance rates and bad drivers. Combining tourists in their rental cars, elderly drivers and the general population just trying to go from A to B can be a bit much, especially during the winter months when you have a ton of snowbirds living in South Florida. My fifth reason is the wildlife here in South Florida. Alligators, turtles, lizards, ants, cockroaches and so on are animals that you need to be aware of exists here in South Florida. If you like to go to the beach, you need to be aware that sharks swim close to the shore, especially during the winter months. So this, this, wraps up, this wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching.